Hi class. So we're going to go through a little epithelial test test um, test quiz. So have a paper and pencil out. You're going to be writing down your answers. That way you will practice writing your answers, practice your spelling. I'm going to be doing this along with you. So I'll be writing my answers down too, which will give me some indication on how long it should take you. So it's just to kind of get you up to speed for any um, lab or lab practical or quiz exam that you might have. So make sure you have a pencil and paper. It's going to be 25 questions. So let's get started. Question one, name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. I labeled the lumen here for you. So this is the epithelial tissue that's surrounding this entire lumen here. What type of epithelial tissue is that? So go ahead, write it down. Question two, name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. Number three, pointer in the lumen. Name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. So look real close at that those apical cells. That was just a hint. Won't be getting any hints on an exam. So number four, pointers in the lumen. Name that epithelial tissue. Number five, pointer in the lumen. Name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. And tell me where you could find this type of epithelial tissue in your body. Number six, here's your lumen. Name this epithelial tissue facing the lumen. And no, kind of knowing what this is, what is the function of this epithelial tissue in this location? So first name that the epithelial tissue and its function in this location. Number seven, pointer is in a, the lumen of one of the many structures seen here. Nothing else looks like this. What organ is this from? Not the type of epithelial tissue, just what organ is this from? Nothing else looks like this. Number eight, there's your epithelial tissue. Where in your body is, is this found? Tell me where you could find it. So pointer is in the lumen. Name that epithelial tissue facing the lumen. Number nine. 
Now here's a close-up of that um, slide we just saw. Pointers in the lumen. So here's kind of like a fuzzy border, this edging that is right there facing the lumen. What is this called? What is this called? What is this apical modification called right here? And what is its function? So you don't need to tell me the type of epithelium here. Just what is this apical modification called? This fuzzy looking thing here. And what is its function? So number 11, pointers in the lumen. Name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. And let's just add a second part to this. Um, I'm going to add, and where would you find this? And where? You find this. So number 12, pointer in the lumen. Name this epithelial tissue facing the lumen. So you're going to be seeing a lot of slides that are just repeats of the same tissue, epithelial tissue type. Just want to have you see it multiple times on multiple different pictures until you finally go, I, I got it, I got it. Number 13, name that epithelial tissue facing the lumen. Make sure you're specific with this, this one. Here's 14. So this is a whole mount slide. In the lecture videos, we went over what that was. So what type of epithelial tissue is this? And what is its special name that we give it? So name the type of epithelial tissue this is and its special name. Fifteen. So the pointer is pointing at that white structure. What is that structure called? And what does that white structure make? So sixteen. Name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. Don't pay any attention to the pointer here. Just look at the epithelial tissue and make sure you give me the specific one um, that is shown here. Number 17, looking at this slide, 
What organ is this from? What organ is this from? Oh, I didn't write in the lumen, but name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. We've got lots of lumens here. And what is the function of this epithelial tissue in this location? So that's number 18. Nineteen, name this epithelial tissue. And what is the function of this type of epithelial tissue? Okay, number 20. This is kind of a blurry slide. I wish I was in the classroom to get a better picture. But name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. Here I'm showing you a lumen that's filled with red blood cells. So name that type of epithelial tissue facing this lumen. And what's its special name that we give it? Number 21, what are the apical structures that are facing the lumen called? And what do they do? What, what's, what are they doing? Twenty-two. So what is this epithelial tissue facing the lumen and where can you find this in your body? What is structure, number 23, what is structure labeled A, and what is its function in this location? Twenty-four. So what type of tissue is located where I scribbled in this green line? So what is this tissue down here called? Just the general tissue name.
I'm going to add one more thing to this question. And why is it important? And why is that tissue important to our epithelial tissue? And your last question, here's that whole mount slide again. Where do you find this epithelial tissue in your body? So that's the end of our epithelial tissue quiz. So now we're going to go back and we're going to see how you guys did. So name this epithelial tissue facing the lumen. Simple squamous. This is simple squamous. One layer thick, simple squamous because these nuclei are flat. Name this epithelial tissue. Well, we know it's got cilia. It looks columnar because these nuclei are elongated. And it looks like more than one layer thick. But you know that's not what it is. It is pseudostratified. We do not have stratified ciliate columnar epithelium. So this is pseudo-stratified, meaning falsely stratified, ciliated columnar epithelium. Pseudo-stratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Basement membrane would be somewhere down here. Cilia, goblet cells are, are pseudo-stratified columnar stuff here. That was number two. Number three. Pointer in the lumen. We know this is stratified. It's more than one layer thick. But you look at those apical cells. These are weird dome-shaped cells. This one looks like it's got two nuclei in it. Just weird looking cells. This is transitional epithelial tissue. This one, easy wheezy. Look at those nice round nuclei. One layer thick. This is simple cuboidal. Name this epithelium. Once again, we have our cilia. We've got our elongated nuclei. It looks stratified, but we know it's not. Basement membrane going to be somewhere down here. This is pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Where can you find this? You find it in your large airways that are taking air into your lungs. So most of these slides are taken from your trachea but large airways carrying uh, um, air. You've already seen a similar slide to this. Name this epithelial tissue facing the lumen. This one is, this one is so beautiful. Look at this. This is simple squamous. Yes. This is the kidney. This is in the kidney. This is a glomerulus. We are taking 
blood and we are, what's the function of the simple squamous? We are filtering that blood. We're going to filter that blood to start making urine. So the function of this simple squamous is filtration. What organ is this from? Nothing else looks like this. These are little alveoli where we have gas exchange. We have millions of them. This is the lung. We'll see these in another slide. I just asked you which organ this was, so all you have to put down is, is the lungs. But this is all simple squamous. All simple squamous. Where do you find this in your body? What kind of epithelium is it? This is transitional. Look at those apical cells, weird looking cells. It's stratified, but the apical cells are telling you what it is. This is transitional epithelium. It is found in your bladder and your ureter. The, two, the ureters are carrying urine into your bladder. Remember why it's called transitional. When this bladder, if this was the bladder and this is the lumen of the bladder, as the bladder fills up with urine, it's pushing down on these apical cells and it's making them flat. So these big balloon cells are transitioning into flat cells. So transitional epithelium, bladder and ureters. Did I already ask this? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I already asked this. This looks familiar. Oh, that's because I just gave you the quiz. <laughs> I'm going, oh, I just saw this. Number nine. What is the epithelium facing um, the lumen, the pointers in the lumen? You look here. Here is, and this is real easy to see. Here's going to be your, your basement membrane is going to be somewhere down here. This is all connective tissue. This is simple. This is simple columnar, simple columnar. The nuclei are towards the basement membrane, simple columnar. Here's a close-up of our simple columnar cells right here. Here's our lumen, the apical modification, this fuzzy border. This is microvilli, microvilli. Some places will call it a brush border because it kind of looks like a brush. It's just a fuzzy edge here. Unlike cilia, cilia, cilia you can really see. This is just kind of a blurry, blurry, blurry edge. What's its function? Microvilli increase the surface area of the cells for absorption. So wherever you have microvilli, villi, they're increasing the surface area for absorption. So pointer in the lumen here. You've got lots of these in this slide. This one is easy wheezy. What is this epithelial tissue? Simple cuboidal. Where do you find that? You're going to find this in the kidney tubules, lots of tubules in the kidney, and in glands. Pointer in the lumen. What's this epithelial tissue? Here's the epithelial tissue. Here's going to be your basement membrane somewhere around here. So it's stratified, but look at the top layer weird dome looking cells. This is transitional, transitional. Easy wheezy. Here's going to be your basement membrane somewhere down here. This is connective tissue. Here's your epithelial tissue. It's stratified, more than one layer thick. You look to the top, those cells on the top have their flat, flattened nuclei. This is stratified, squamous, non-keratinized. You, 
you have to put down if they're keratinized or non-keratinized. Non-keratinized. These cells are still alive up here. So this is non-keratinized stratified squamous. Here's that whole mount slide again. What type of epithelial tissue is this? And what's its special name? So the type of epithelial tissue is simple squamous, right? This is simple squamous. You're looking down at this plate of cells. Here's the cell border. This is simple squamous. What's its special name? Mesothelium. Mesothelium. Pointer pointing to a goblet cell. What do goblet cells make? They make mucus. They make mucus. Now remember, goblet cells are found in your airways and in your GI tract. So depending on where they are is going to determine the function of that mucus. This is PSCC. This is in, probably in the trachea, pseudostratified ciliated columnar. So this mucus is just being made, put, putting, uh, it's going to be put down on the surface of these cells and the cilia here are, are going, and its function is to trap any air particles um, so you don't take those air particles deep into your lungs. So depends on where those goblet cells are, what their function is going to be. Name the epithelial tissue. Well, you know it's stratified. So this is pretty big. This is this is skin. So when we get to the integumentary system, you you will know. Oh, this is large. Oh, this is thick, thick skin. So this is stratified squamous, keratinized. So all this is dead. This is just old cells that have been filled up. These cells have started to die. Um, they filled up with keratin, so now they're dead. So stratified squamous keratinized. What organ is this from? You see lots of these structures. Lots of these. Here's the lumen of all these structures. So you'll learn about these when we learn about the urinary system. Um, but this is where we're making urine. So this is the kidney. Name the epithelial tissue facing the lumen. We've got lots of lumens here. You've already seen this um, earlier when we, I showed you the big picture of the lungs. So what is this? This epithelium is what? It's a simple squamous. And what is its function here? This is in the lungs. So we're going to have diffusion of gases, carbon dioxide and, and oxygen. So this is diffusion of gases. We, we are in the lungs. That's simple squamous of the lungs, diffusion of gases. Here we have another stratified squamous. Cells are alive up here non-keratinized. The thicker, the, the more strata you have, the more layers you have of cells, the more protection you are going to have. So if it's stratified, its function is going to be protection. Wear and tear. Name the epithelial tissue facing this lumen. Not a very good picture, but you can make it out. You know, this is a blood vessel because the lumen's filled with red blood cells. This is simple squamous. This is called endothelium. Endothelium. The function in blood vessels is to provide a smooth surface for blood to flow over. So 
The question here is, what are these apical structures facing the lumen? This is cilia. What do they do? Cilia are motile, hair-like extensions that move. They are beating in one, moving, beating in one direction to move whatever is above them in, um, in this tube. So if you got mucus, we can kind of see a goblet cell here. This is in the airway, so it's moving the mucus. It's moving the mucus away from the lungs and up towards your mouth so you can swallow it. Remember we talked about nicotine. It paralyzes these cilia so they stop functioning. So you get your smoker's cough every morning, clearing out that mucus. Question 22, what's this epithelium? You've already seen it once before, but I wanted to show you another picture. Simple columnar. Simple columnar. Here's the basement membrane. Here's the connective tissue layer. Long, e elongated nuclei. Here's a goblet cell. Simple columnar. Where do you find this? Stomach, small intestines, large intestines. So what is this structure labeled A? This is a nice, this is a beautiful picture. This is a goblet cell. What kind of epithelium is this? Simple columnar. And you can actually see the microvilli up here. I mean, you can't see them, but it's, you can see this edging really well. And here's your lumen. So what's the function of goblet cells here? They're making mucus. This is probably in the small intestines. So we said it's partly is to lube the tube. Remember there's food in here, food that's being digested and absorbed. So we're lubing the tube so that food can keep on moving down, down the tube and it's adding protection. It's giving us a, a mucousy protection for um, these cells also. So what type of tissue is in this region where the green lines are? We said this, this, is, this is our epithelial tissue. Deep to all epithelial tissue is what? Connective tissue. Why is this connective tissue important to our epithelial tissue? Remember, one of the characteristics of epithelial tissue is it is avascular. There is no blood, no blood flowing through the, the epithelial tissue. This connective tissue, just deep to the epithelial tissue, is very vascular, and it is it is the source of the nutrients and um, oxygen to this epithelial tissue. Those nutrients and o oxygen are going to diffuse through that basement membrane and diffuse into our epithelial tissue. Very important. Whole mount slide. So um, this is simple squamous mesothelium. Where do you find it? this forms your serous membranes. You have your visceral and parietal pleura around the lungs, visceral and parietal pericardium around your heart, and visceral and parietal peritoneum that is in your abdominal cavity. So that, oh, that's it. So hopefully you did well. I went about as fast as you should be going on an exam. Once you see these, you should just be able to look at it and go, I know what that is. Write it down. Practice your writing. Whenever you're writing down a tissue, always ask yourself those questions. What's its function? Where can I find it? What organ is this from? Stuff like that. So you're reinforcing um, 
everything that you should be learning. So that's it. So we are going to go on to connective tissue.